Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily.
Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Thank you for tuning in. Your Madison City Schools broadcast will begin momentarily. Good evening, everyone. We will call to order the March 7th, 2024, Madison City Board of Education to order. We would like to call Ms. Millie and Ms. Mary Wells from Columbia to come up to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would everyone please stand? Thank you. <laughs> Ms. King, roll call, please. Here. 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 Board, will you take a minute to review the agenda? Once you review the agenda, let us, we need a motion and a second. <clears throat> so moved. Second. Motion by Ms. Lesman. Second by Mr. Newberry. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes. We have the presentation side of our agenda. Dr. Nichols, I see we have presentation. Yes, sir, Mr. Vice President. At first, I'm going to ask Mr. Tim Smalley. Mr. Smalley represents Bird <coughs> Smalley and Adams, and they are our accountants, and he is going to give our 2023 Madison City Financial Audit Report. Mr. Smalley. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. Members of the board, we're pleased to present to you the results of our audit of your financial statements for your fiscal year ended September the 30th, 2023. We've passed out our report package, and in that, I begin with the independent auditor's report, which we're happy to state that in our opinion, your financial statements present fairly in all material respects the financial position of the Madison City Board of Education. This is the auditor's unmodified report and is our best report. Again, as I said, in the education vernacular, you would get an A plus for that report. Congratulations, board, and your whole system on accomplishing that. Additionally, as is required under government audit standards, we perform more granular work on the internal control system and compliance, primarily involving the source of federal funds and the use of federal funds. As a result of our work, we found no instances of noncompliance or material weaknesses in your total control system. Again, that's a letter grade A plus for that work. We appreciate the cooperation that we received from the superintendent and the accounting office. They were very helpful and cooperative with us. We had no difficulties whatsoever in performing the work. And we appreciate the opportunity to work for the Madison City Board of Education. And I'll be glad to answer any questions if you have any about our report. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Small, I would like to thank your team. I know they're here with you and uh, certainly appreciate each of them and the work that they do, the professionalism uh, that they present uh, as they work with our team. And uh, we're very appreciative of all the work that uh, each of them gives. And so, so thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Vice President, this time I'm going to ask Ms. Amy Patel to come forward. Uh, is Amy here? I have uh, on my list James Clement High School theater students. So my James Clement High School theater students here. Well, they must have missed the message. We'll get them next meeting. <laughs> How about Discovery Middle School girls basketball team, Mr. Hill? Yeah. yeah. That woke Sam Scott up over there. <laughs> he did. He came for this special occasion. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. Thank you, board. We are happy to be here tonight to recognize our eighth grade ladies basketball team, Madison County champions of the world yeah. in, in, in 2020 for the 2023-24 season. Uh, so proud. And uh, personally, myself and our administrative team, we saw almost every single game and saw a lot of growth with these young ladies, a lot of adversity. 
uh, but they finish strong. They are fine young ladies, wonderful academic students, and they're pretty good athletes as well. So <laughs> let me let you talk to Coach Burks. Congrats. Okay, thank you so much. Um, first of all, I'd like to say it's a great privilege and honor to be recognized. Um, and so up. today I want to introduce, oh, well, I want to thank the superintendents, the assistant superintendents, Keep the coming. principals, the AD, um, all the parents for their support this season. So um, now let me introduce the eighth grade championship team. We have Scarlett Abbott, if you'll just stand forward. Yeah, just right there. Ooh. Ooh. Just face it that way. Just Like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then we have Maya Cox. Yay. <laughs> Adeline. Gabrielle. Okay, Amari Garth could not be here. We have a track meet today also at Bob Jones, and so she's doing track. Okay, Evelyn. Not going to mess up her last name. <laughs> <laughs> Riley Gordon. Aaron, Aaron Henderson. Sierra Lewis. Ari Richardson. So this, we have a great group of ladies right here. They have been dedicated and committed off season, preseason, during the season. Um, we finished with a record 11 and seven, um, winning our la last four games in the tournament, winning against the team that beat us twice during the season, wow. Buckhorn, we shut them down. <laughs> um, and also, I would like to um, recognize Scarlett Abbott, she step forward. Oh. She was our most valuable player with 161 rebounds and 62 steals. Wow. Woo. That's big for middle school, okay? And then also Ari, she had the highest points, the most points, so she had she made 54 free throws. And out of that, she scored 149 points to finish up. But you know what? They got most valuable player and the highest points, but it's no way that we could have won that championship game without the rest of these ladies. So y'all move forward because we know defense wins <laughs> championships. So they were great. So yeah. thank y'all so much. Okay, so we got to break it down. So I'm proud of all of you. And so next year, repeat for my seventh graders, okay? <laughs> and so let's break it down. Y'all ready? Before they all shoot out the door, um, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Um, Peck would love a picture of them. So could you bring them all back up here? Okay, uh, they're fast. Uh, you got to catch them. And um, Mr. Peck will want a picture with that trophy so we can put it put it uh, on social media. So just come right up here, uh, help them help them, Mr. Peck and Mr. Hill. You. And there may be a few parents who want a picture, so we get them lined up, although you probably already got a bunch. Now, ladies, oh, we got a few more. Keep smiling. Okay. Keep smiling. So, hang on, hang on, hang on. Y'all in a hurry here. I know it's you going home. You ready? Y'all, y'all ready for spring break? I know, I know. Everybody ready? Trust me, trust me. Everybody ready? Um, congratulations. And um, it, it takes a lot of effort. A lot of determination, a lot of dedication and time uh, to be on a team and to achieve the level that you have against the teams that you've played against. 
and uh, we are certainly proud of you. Now, I'm, my mama, I have a little affinity for girls basketball because my, my mama was a girls basketball player, but she used to play a long time ago, and it, 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 it's homework for you. Go, go research split court basketball. My mother played split court basketball. That's when they wouldn't let three girls on one side and three girls on the other, and you couldn't cross the half court line. Okay? Yeah, sounds a little weird, doesn't it? Uh huh. And uh, and she played basketball and loved basketball, and it was an opportunity for her to play in high school. And uh, and so I grew up loving watching girls basketball. I'm a, I'm a Tennessee Vol fan, so if any of y'all get really good, we'll get you in Knoxville. And uh, but. Uh, but just proud of, the, of what you've done as a team this year. And I appreciate Mr. Hill and his staff supporting all of you this year. And uh, we know good things are ahead, right, Coach? Moving ahead. So congratulations, champ. Thank you. All right. Congratulations. Now you can go, but you can't start spring break till Friday. <laughs> And Mr. Hill, when I was principal, I used to give a sunshine day every once in a while. The basketball team might need like five extra minutes early to be dismissed just for a sunshine day. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? Yeah. What did I say to Kenny? Kenny, you need to get a There you go. There you go, Mr. Hill. Now that's that's all right. That's a good principal. There you go, Mr. Hill. That's a good principal. There you go. I love it. You get an A plus, you get a sunshine day. How's that? I'll start there you go. All right. Uh, Mr. Vice President, members of the board, Dr. Susan Zinkel is next. Dr. Nichols Board, uh, I am honored to be in front of you this evening recognizing two of our amazing special ed staff. They are just without um, hesitation some of the game changers that we have in our special ed department. That says a lot because I feel like we are all game changers, but these two I want to recognize tonight for uh, going above and beyond. In November of last year, um, our lead school psychologist, Dr. Ashley Bat Rowden, was recognized as the 2023 School Psychologist of the Year for the state of Alabama by all of her peers in the state. Um, we are, were honored to say she was one of ours. That is quite a recognition, and she certainly deserved it with all that she has done for student services, special ed, and um, impacting student achievement for students in Madison City. So we were very excited for her. Um, that happened at their um, state conference and the award was actually accepted on her behalf by one of her peers because she was two days shy of having her second son. So. Um, she's here with us tonight with baby Theo. So I hope you will join me in recognizing Dr. Ashley Bat Rowden. Sure, I will hold Come on him. Up. Yeah. While Come on up. I, I'm happy to hold him yeah. <laughs> if you need me to. Thank you, Dr. Zinkel, for the kind words. Thank you, board. Thank you, Dr. Nichols. Um, and I also want to say thank you to my fellow school psychologists and administrators and general ed teachers and special education teachers and parents um, because I wouldn't be able to do the job that I do without the support of the district and the families. Um, and it's, it's just really an honor to be recognized for the work that we do. Um, a lot of times it feels like we're in the trenches and it doesn't always get seen. Sometimes what we do is, is not seen till years and years later. 
Um, so that's that's really just. I'm, I'm really humbled. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> um, I'm just very humbled and appreciative um, for being recognized for the work that we do. And it's it's really just a team effort. So thank you. Congratulations. It's quite an honor to receive this from your state, and as Dr. Nichols said, your um, professional peers. But um, what's really exciting is I get to do the exact same thing again for another one of our amazing special ed staff members. So last month, the Alabama, uh, well, the speech and language. Speech, Language, and Hearing Association, excuse me, um, of Alabama recognized one of ours as the 2024 AAC Professional of the Year. And what's very exciting about this award is this is a relatively new um, position. Kim Dykes was selected as our lead SLP for the district a year and a half ago. And the primary reason for that was to help evaluate students that um, had a difficulty with communication, that had very little um, um, expressive language. And so in this role, she has been evaluating students who can't talk, and she helps give them a device so that they can speak for themselves. So we were very excited to have that position a year and a half ago. and. Um, across the state, it was it's it's been awarded to Madison City, but in particular her for how she embraced that um, role and has been really changing the lives of uh, some of our students with more significant needs. So it is my pleasure to um, introduce uh, Kim Dykes to you, who is um, Shaw's 2024 AAC Professional of the Year. privilege and honor to be up here. I never dreamed I would be doing this. Um, I was very comfortable being an SLP at Columbia Elementary School, but um, this opportunity came up and I thought, why not? So for the past year and a half, I've been building a program and I would like to thank um, Dr. Zinkel for letting me do that and for trusting my vision in that, um, as well as my team. Um, building this program has required their um, input and their expertise as well. And a, a big piece of this, I could not do this job if it wasn't for the help of our technology department. They have been just as much a part of this as I have been and we have learned together. And because of that, we now have a partnership to get this technology into students' hands for the first time ever. So thank you very much for having me up here tonight. What you got for me? <laughs> <laughs> I need to tell you, she has another one. She is the superintendent counselor of his own child. Mm -hmm. Without a child that's in the speech, communication, and disorder department, the chances are the worst. And I get these crazy calls from my child. And we all know what that's like, <laughs> especially when they're all the college. I don't understand any of this. And I'll rush to Kim. And I'll say, 
Um, Mr. Vice President, that is all the presentations at this time. Thank you. I think we have reached the public comment section of our uh, agenda. Ms. King, do we have anyone signed up for public comments? Is there anyone here to speak to the board? Okay. So we move on to action items. Dr. Nichols, I see we have some recommendations to come before the board. Yes, sir, Mr. Vice President. Um, I recommend approval of the consent agenda. It contains several items. A, minutes 24-03, February the 8th, 2024. B, minutes 24-04, February 29, 2024. C, your field trip request for Madison City Schools. D, facility use agreements for Madison City Schools. E, policies mental health opt-in revision, literacy act revision, and selection of instructional materials as new policy that has come through the policy committee and have been presented and are up now for adoption. F, 2024 middle, uh, Madison City Schools summer learning programs for special education, English learner, elementary, and secondary. G, 2024 elementary summer camp at Midtown. H, summer chess camp to be held at Journey. I, a bid for new bleachers for Bob Jones High School and Journey Middle School. J, an engineering agreement with mechanical design for a new fire alarm, HVAC, and lighting controls for Mill Creek. K, change order number one for the West Madison Pre-K Center for an extension of 311 days. I, change order number two for James Clemens Indoor Practice Facility for a cost of $37,500. And M, an architect agreement with Nola Van Pearson for the new bleachers at Bob Jones and Journey. And finally, N, a disposal of child nutrition program vending machines at Bob Jones Discovery, Liberty, and James Clemens. Board, Dr. Nichols has recommended consent agenda items A through M. Can we take this as a group? Seeing that a group is fine, can we have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda items? So moved. Second. We have a motion by Ms. Lessman and a second by Mr. Overcash. Any discussion, board? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes. Mr. Vice President, next I would like to recommend, uh, well, first I will ask Ms. Williams to come forward and present the January 2024 financial and bank reconciliation statements for Madison City Schools. Good evening, Dr. Nichols and board. Um, first, I wanted to go on record um, to pretty much submit a, a report, um, to, to say that I submitted a report to Ms. King um, to be included in the minutes concerning our um, audit report dealing with the Madison City policy and financial procedures. And as far as the financial statements for January 2024, uh, we should be at 33%. Um, and as far as our revenues, we're at 51%, and our expenditures are at around 30%. Mr. Vice President, I recommend for approval the 2024 January financial and bank reconciliation statements as presented by Ms. Williams. Board, Dr. Mich Nichols has recommended the 2024 um, financial and bank reconciliation statements. I need a motion and a second to approve the uh, financial statements. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Overcash and a second by Mr. Newberry. Just for the public's information, we had a finance committee meeting today at 4, and those financials were discussed at that time. Ready for a vote? Do we have any um, ready for a vote? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any abstain? Any opposed? Any discussion? Motion passed. Mr. Vice President, at this time I'll ask uh, Ms. Williams to present the January 2024 budget amendment for Madison City Schools. Okay, for January 2024, um, we just had one change um, of $150,000 and it was for our discovery um, chiller. Um, and we're currently at 44.74 operating days. 
Mr. Vice President, I recommend for approval the January 2024 budget amendment as presented by Ms. Williams for Madison City Schools. Thank you. Board, Dr. Nichols has recommended the January 2024 budget amendment. We need a motion and a second to approve the budget amendment. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Overcash and a second by Ms. Lesney. Any discussion, board? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes. Thank you. We have the, thank you, Ms. Williams. We have the personnel action items of our agenda. Dr. Nichols, are there any personnel items that come before the board? Yes, sir, Mr. Vice President. First, I would recommend approval of the list of substitutes for Madison City Schools. Board, Dr. Nichols has recommended the approval of the substitute list to come before the board. Is it the board's pleasure to treat these as a group? Seeing that a group is fine, can I have a motion and a second to approve the list for substitute teachers for Madison City Schools? So moved. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Newberry and a second by Mr. Ms. Lesney. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes. Mr. Vice President, members of the board, I recommend for approval the supplemental contract for work to be performed for Madison City Schools. Board, Dr. Nichols has recommended the supplemental contracts for Madison City Schools. Is it the board pleasure to vote on these as a group? Seeing that a group is fine, we need a motion and a second to approve, approve the supplemental contracts. So moved. Second. We have a motion by Ms. Lesney and a second by Mr. Mr. Overcash. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Motion passes. The list of contracts is approved. List of supplemental contracts is approved. We have the personnel items. Yes, sir. Mr. Vice President, members of the board, I recommend for approval the remainder of the personnel agenda. Dr. Nichols has uh, recommended the remainder of the personnel agenda. Can we, send, can we take this as a group? Seeing that a group is fine, can we have a motion and a second? So moved. Second. <laughs> Ms. Lesson on the roll, Mr. Overcast. So we have a motion by Ms. New, Mr. Newberry and a second by Ms. Lesson. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? Personnel items are approved. Dr. Nichols, are there any personnel items you would like to point out? Yes, sir, there are several. It is, it is obviously we have, have gotten into spring, and, uh, and uh, so we have a few retirements. They're not going to happen today, but down the road. Uh, we'd like to recognize several of those. First of all, from Bob Jones, Jennifer Chandler. Um, Ms. Chandler uh, uh, transferred to Bob Jones, taught computer science, uh, prior to that at Discovery, she's taught for 29 years. Uh, she's National Board certified, enjoyed her years at Bob Jones, and, uh, and enjoyed watching her own children uh, uh, participate on the baseball team and the golf team, and we certainly wish her well. We also have Ms. Deidre Smith at Bob Jones, has worked in Madison City Schools, beginning her career as a nurse at Rainbow, moving to Bob Jones as a special education paraprofessional. Certainly appreciate her and and we also have um, Marla Jenkins, after 16 years teaching elementary music, uh, she began her time with Madison City in 2013, took over the choir programs both at Liberty and Discovery, uh, started with about 35 students, and five years later had 150 at each school. Uh, she was recognized as the Discovery Teacher of the Year in 2018, and uh, she will retire with 25 years of service in Alabama and two in Tennessee. We also have uh, Michelle Phillips, uh, has been um, with Madison City Schools, has been teaching 33 years, uh, started her journey in North Florida where she graduated and then uh, came here in Madison City when it was founded in 98, uh, has been working with ESL students throughout that time, uh, dedicated to working both during the school year and the summer camp time. Uh, we certainly wish her well. We have Allison Word at Midtown, third grade teacher. She's been teaching for 30 years, dedicated to uh, 
giving all to her students. So, uh, um, as Demetra says, she gives the best hugs uh, to her students, parents, and coworkers, and that she's a uh, uh, very person who brings a great energy to the school and will be missed. We also have Debbie Johnson, who will retire at the end of this year from second grade at Madison Elementary School. Ms. Johnson began her career as a Title I teacher in Madison County and came to Madison Elementary 97-98. Uh, she is, uh, has known many principals and superintendents and uh, throughout her time since 1998, two daughters that attended Madison City Schools and is grateful for the opportunity and being part of the community. And we have uh, from uh, James Clemens, Patricia Collins has uh, worked for six years, uh, working with students across James Clemens uh, High School. Um, Ms. Collins, Mr. D Dr. Donaldson says Ms. Collins is one of the reasons that he started singing on Friday, and uh, he will certainly miss her. So we have her to credit for that, um, but uh, they will miss her on the JET team. So uh, we certainly are grateful for all of these and the dedication that they have given to our students. Uh, we certainly appreciate um, the time and commitment they've given to Madison City Schools, and we hope that um, their retirement will be as beneficial to them as their service has been to the children in this community. <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Nichol. We have reached the superintendent comment section of our agenda. Dr. Nichol, do you have any comments? Well, first of all, it's uh, we're um, <coughs> less than 24 hours to spring break. I think everybody's ready for that. Um, <laughs> Um, at least that's what it seems like walking around the school and um, uh, hard to believe that we are three-fourths of the way through this school year and that uh, we will enter the last nine weeks of the school year. Um, it'll be a busy time in the spring as the board knows. There's uh, ACAP testing and ACT testing and, and um, all kinds of assessments and so certainly we know our folks have put in um, a great time. I was uh, in Montgomery the first couple of days this week with both the SSA board and the class board and um, I'm very disappointed about um, our delegation not supporting us and asking them uh, to vote no on the voucher bill. Uh, I will give uh, kudos to uh, Representative Rigsby. Uh, he communicated with me throughout that time. Uh, even though we disagree on the vote, I certainly am not disagreeable <laughs> with him because he he worked to get some changes made um, to the bill. There are other bills down there now that we're trying to communicate on that will uh, affect funding for the school district. Uh, so we're trying to work with, um, with folks on that. Uh, I also want to, I want to congratulate our bands and our choruses. They've had their um, assessments the last week or so. I didn't get to many of those due to being in Montgomery, but I'm very thankful they sent me recordings. So uh, I had a pleasant drive home listening to um, the American Overture for Band by the James Clemens Wind Ensemble and the Lincolnshire Posey. Those mean nothing to the board, but they're, <laughs> they're true to the old band director's heart by the uh, Wind Ensemble from Bob Jones. Uh, we're blessed to have great music teachers, and uh, our, our ensembles are at the very best across this state. Um, we had a celebration at Heritage Elementary for their uh, Leader in Me Award and also being in the top 25 performance schools and we went over there one morning and had uh, had cookies for them. I appreciate Lee Shaw and Dr. Donaldson for working uh, working to make sure that we could get all of that. And a shout out, Mr. Payon got a shout out here for helping our speech therapist. You still back there, Mr. Payon? Want to check? <laughs> Mr. Clark's back there with you. I will say that we got rid of some old vending machines earlier because we have new vending machines. So uh, uh, certainly appreciate uh, the work that we get in our our CMP program. And uh, we had the Reflections Awards. That was a great night over at the James Clemens Auditorium. Our PTA sponsored that. We have several winners uh, at the state level in our PTA Reflections. And, uh, and, and I also want to thank our, our staff. You know, we put it in here, and probably sometimes I wonder if we should pull these out. Um, summer learning programs. We have special ed summer learning programs. We have English learner summer programs. We'll do literacy summer programs. We'll do elementary and secondary students and camp programs. And I can't thank our staff enough. Uh, Dr. Zinkel and her team, Dr. Dooley with the EL, uh, Dr. Donaldson, Ms. Mims, Ms. Powell, and all that are working on summer school and all of those. Uh, and certainly the work that goes on to get prepared for those every summer. You know, 
some folks may think school only goes nine months, but it really doesn't. And it's, uh, and it's 12 months, and we will have the board visit. We love when we find that day in the summer where you can tour all of our camps, and uh, we'll make sure that, that we do that this year. And so um, finally I had the opportunity to work with the Alabama Superintendents Academy. I've been blessed to, to be asked to work with the Alabama Superintendents Academy for several years. These are folks that aspire to be superintendents, um, and they go through training that's uh, coordinated by the State Department of Education as well as the University of Alabama. And it's always a, a pleasure to get to meet um, future, future administrators and uh, to share a little, I don't know if it's wisdom or experience, one of the two, uh, but, uh, but, but always an opportunity to have that opportunity to talk with them. Mr. Jones is here. I'll thank him. Mr. Jones and Mr. Gunner have uh, if we put a GPS on them, they probably cover 11,000 <laughs> miles a day. I don't know. And uh, they're out there making, following up on our uh, work that we're having done and, and helping to get things delivered and moved and just uh, the operations that we have in place every day. Uh, when we had ice earlier, they were out there making sure that our facilities were ready to go when we got back and that if there were any problems, they were addressed and certainly appreciate uh, our, our team for that and the work that they do. Uh, finally, Sam, thank you for being with us tonight. Uh, we certainly appreciate our SROs uh, and the partnership that we have and, and our security folks that we have now that we partner with. Uh, it makes me feel comfortable uh, to know that they're out there checking the buildings and walking uh, the grounds and taking care of those things. and. Uh, I certainly am thankful for you, and, uh, and uh, they are all your kids. Anybody that's ever been to Discovery Middle School and seen you in the hall uh, knows that uh, those are all Sam's kids, and, and, and they love on him, and, and he can talk to them in a way nobody else can sometimes, and, uh, and that's a good thing because uh, they know when they're out in, away from school, they see that uniform that, that Sam Scott represents it, and it does a great job. And so thank you, Sam. Appreciate what you do. So. Uh, I think that's all my comments, Mr. Vice President. Excellent. We're at the board comment section of our agenda. Uh, Mr. Overcast, do you have any comments? Uh, just a few. I'd like to mention that the board got to work car line at uh, Rainbow earlier this week. It was downpouring, but it was always fun to get to see the little kiddos, particularly the youngest ones, and uh, it was always a good time to meet with the staff there at that school. Uh, the board also attended the AASB conference in Huntsville. For once we get to go somewhere where we didn't have to travel and got to stay at home. But it was a, a really good conference. We learned a lot of good stuff about different uh, things related to school boards and school systems. And uh, prior to that, I actually got to take a tour of the uh, cyber and engineering high schools, which being an engineer, I found just truly amazing the environment there that they have going on. It was something that I can hardly imagine getting to leave home and go live in the dorms that uh, they start with freshmen, and I guess that's at 15 years old, and just the amazing things that they got to do. So that was really uh, an eye-opening experience, and I think we actually go all the way back to the uh, state of the schools. Have we had a meeting, an evening meeting since then? So we got to attend the board and Dr. Nichols was one of the presenters, or the uh, discussion group, shall we say. So it was always good to see all of our, the interest in the large community. I mean, the Jackson Center was completely packed with people wanting to find out what's going on with the three school systems in Madison County. So it's been a busy couple of weeks, but I believe that's all I've got, sir. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Overcash. Mr. Newberry, you have any comments? I do. Uh, it has been a busy couple of weeks. Uh, I was at the AASB conference this past weekend, the weekend before that. Um, I was at the COSBA conference, which is the National School Board Conference. Um, that was a informative at the sort of national level, not just the local level. Um, I did miss the state of the schools because I was with Ms. Lessman and Montgomery um, talk, advocating for public education to our lawmakers. Things did not go quite as 
I would like to them to have gone, um, but uh, it's always good to have a dialogue with uh, the local delegation, and um, I look forward to them supporting public education in the future. Um, I, d I do want to say uh, great job to our finance team. Um, you know, if the auditors are going to come up and give y'all a grade, no matter what that grade is, that's a that would be scary for me. Uh, but I'm, you know, if the I don't know how, well, since I've been on the board, it's the second year in a row that you guys have gotten the proverbial A+, plus, so uh, congratulations. I know going through an audit's a lot of work, and uh, I appreciate the financial help and all the work y'all put into to the system. Other than that, um, hope everybody has a uh, good and relaxing uh, spring break. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you, Mr. Newberry. Ms. Lessie. Um, Outside of what Mr. Newberry and Mr. Overcash have already said. Did um, they steal your thunder? <laughs> yeah. We, we've spent a lot of time together as a board. Um, so we are all ready for spring break, and we, we do have, this is a great board. Um, I, I am honored to be here and, and to serve on this board. Um, I do want to add on with Mr. Newberry. When we went to uh, Montgomery to talk with our local legislation, um, we do have, as it's been stated before, we do have a good relationship with them, and um, we did voice our concerns, and um, so we we do we were glad that they listened, um, but it you know didn't go the way that we wanted. So um, I, I think I think you said that well. So, but we they did hear us out. Um, and then we had a great time at Carline, you know, Rainbow, always a fun time, and AASB. Want to thank you, Miss Williams, Miss Gray, um, A plus. That's fantastic, outstanding work. I know that was a lot of hard work. And um, I'd also like to say hello to Miss Denzine, Councilwoman Denzine. Thank you for coming out and supporting. Um, and everyone have a great spring break. Thank you, Miss Lesney. Uh, I want to. Thank Ms. Millie and Ms. Mary Wells for coming up, lead, leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. And as you see these young superstars, you wonder how many t more times are we going to see them at the Board of Education? You know, what are they going to accomplish as they make their way through the school? Um, I want to say a special thank you for Dr. Backrowden and Kim Dykes. You know, it's amazing the words that's been said, opportunity, in the trenches, and game changers. This is the type of leadership and opportunity that we foster in here. And uh, Dr. Nichols, when you was reading your retirements, and it seems like we have a, some teachers with some tremendous amount of experience when you have teachers with 25 and 30 years of experience, but I can almost guarantee that those teachers left a major impression on our up and coming teachers, and we're gonna see some great things coming from them in the future. Um, I think that's it for my comments. I hope everyone enjoys their spring break. Um, and so that's the end of my public comments. We will move into our adjournment. Our next school board meeting is scheduled for March the 28th, uh, 2024. If there's no further action, I ask for a motion and a second to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion by Ms. Lessman and a second by Mr. Newberry. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 We are adjourned.